This is D with Divine L. And um, I got a message um, back on, I don't remember if it was the 9th or the 10th. But it was about um, <sighs> let's just put it this way. I was given the message 911 this evening, in other words, emergency, get it done. This video that I promised to have up. By the 11th, I have till 2 a.m. to get this done. And it's something I've been kind of avoiding because I wasn't sure how to put it. So I'm just going to walk into it for you. I got the time on the computer it was 911 this evening, and the song is up again. They wanted me to look at that song, Led Zeppelin, Cashmere. <sighs> okay, there's going to be some flipping back and forth. Try to stick with me on this. <sighs> so I looked up the song, Cashmere. Oh, let the sun beat down upon my face with stars to fill my dream. I am a traveler of both time and space to be where I have been. Sit with elders from, of the gentle race, this world has seldom seen. Talk of days for which they sit and wait, and all will be revealed. Well, that's the apocalypse. That is the age of Aquarius. All will be revealed. <sighs> right? The time is now. The elders are no longer sitting and waiting. They're no longer talking about it. They're actually doing it. Talk and song from tongues of lil lilting grace sounds caress my ear but not a word I heard could I relate the story was quite clear <sighs> all I see turns to brown as the sun burns the ground and my eyes fill with sand as I scanned this wasted land, trying to find, trying to find where I've been. Oh, pilot of the storm who leaves no trace, like thoughts inside a dream, heed the path that led me to that place, yellow desert stream. My Shangri-La, beneath the summer moon, I will return again. Sure as the dust that floats high in June when moving through Kashmir. O oh, father of the four winds, fill my sails across the sea of years with no provision but an open face along the straits of fear. Now I just have to connect all this for you. I had a reading that I did before I shut down my Spirit Keeper's Tarot and put it in a deep freeze for a few days. And something about a sailing ship in the background of one of the cards. 
really stuck out to me, and I didn't understand why. But I paid attention. I'm looking at all the signs that are happening around me all the time. It'll all make sense, I hope, when I get finished linking this all together for you guys. The four winds fill my sails. <sighs> I want to remind you all of um, one of the times that I spent with the Nomo, the tiny blue ETs. And in that time, they showed me a planet that was completely engulfed in flames on one of the trips that they took me on. Here's the kicker. They took my daughter, too. She described exactly the same beings, and they showed her exactly the same thing, my oldest daughter, Cassandra. They showed her a planet on fire. I wasn't sure what it all meant until now. <sighs> Okay. <clears throat> I'm not even sure what to um, show you first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I'll just show you what I have and hope that you all can make heads or tails of what I'm showing you here. So, I decided I needed to look up the four winds because of the sails. Because I noticed the sails on the ship on the back of the card. <sighs> what card was that? I'm going to pull out the deck right now. <sighs> this might take me a minute. Maybe I should just go back and look at the reading. I do those readings on Divine Needle. You guys should check it out because um, there's way more to those readings than what meets the eye many times. <sighs> but they tell me it's urgent that I deliver this message and now. No time to waste, I just heard. Alrighty, no time to waste. Let me find that card. Since I'm already here looking. <sighs> the Reaper card, Passage to Initiation, was in one of the readings before I froze the deck for a while. And there's a boat with a little sail, and I pointed it out. I was like, I don't know why that's standing out to me. But it was. You'll understand why that stood out to me soon enough. It's about a wind. Wind and fire. All right. So I look up the four winds. The four winds of revelation. And if you look at the titles in my um, videos, one of them is, um, see, this is where they 911'd me tonight. They're like, get it done. I'm like, okie dokie, we'll do. Where is that reading? Give me a moment. Whew. 
Wrong one. Sorry. Which reading was that? What's these up in here? Give me just a minute. This is something else that's uh, interesting. Divine Trial of the Mother uncovers great mysteries for the seers. <laughs> and if I remember right, this is the reading where I froze the deck, you guys. Yeah, it is. <sighs> All right. Figure out where we're at. <sighs> Is this it? Yeah, it will. Yeah. See? And for some reason, this... Sailboat stuck out, <laughs> and it was um, this reading pertained very heavily to another reader, um, because his mother was in the process of her exit, um, rustling around. So I knew this reading had a lot to do with him, but there was a lot more. There's way more to this reading. <sighs> Sacred fire is in the middle. That's his highest priority. And then what to be mindful of, prepare for the convalescent and destiny. Um... <sighs> This reading that Rustling Around did, I'm going to come back to that in a moment because it connects with all this and he doesn't even realize it yet. <sighs> and I hope he watches this video. I'm going to give him a link and I hope he watches it. Because he doesn't even realize that they're using him to communicate with me and you all. The Four Winds of Revelation. Interesting, it was posted February 24, 2017. Understanding the timing of events that transpired at the release of the Four Winds of Revelation is extremely critical if we hope to comprehend the final events of this age of flesh. In our Bible study, Daniel's vision, the ram and the goat, we discovered the goat of Daniel 8 is symbolic for the current global structure in place today. After the conflict with the ram, Iran, our next sign will be to see this structure fail, which is breaking of the goat's horn in Daniel 8 no doubt due to various global issues being political and economic in nature. This will be the moment in time when the four winds are released. The moment when the sealing of our Father's saints has been completed. The moment when the seven trumpet, trumpets begin to sound. 
the moment when the four beasts of Daniel rise, which are simply four offices of the sixth kingdom that will be led by ten clay kings. This will be the completion of the children of Satan's work, but it will not stand as this will lead to the deadly wound which will usher in Satan and his angels, which, and only then, initiates the tribulation. Before we start our Bible study, let us ask our Father for wisdom and understanding of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen Ra. Man, have I got to tell you guys some stuff. It's the mother and father's wisdom. But the mother is a virgin, which means wisdom. The four winds, a great storm. We should understand the four winds that will be loosened on the earth are not literal winds nor will they bring about a literal storm. Rather, they are symbolic for our Father's Spirit being poured out onto the earth. It is our Father's Spirit that will warm the hearts of those who love Him while burning the hearts of those who hate Him. <sighs> the four winds of Revelation will initiate the final events of this age of flesh, and they will bring about a great storm that will converge on and affect earthly men. This great storm will magnify with intensity when Satan appears on earth, bringing his flood of lies with him, and drowning those who have not prepared their spiritual ark. Well... It's obvious that who wrote this wasn't in complete understanding of what they mean. <sighs> At this time, the four winds are being held back until the sealing of our Father's saints has been completed. This sealing locks the truth of God's word into their minds, whereby they cannot be deceived or harmed by Satan and his angels. The ceiling will consist of 144,000 individuals, 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes of Israel. Make up this total. Of course, this does not include the multitude from Revelation 7-9. Of all peoples, however, we know there is an untold number of them who are sealed as well, and they will stand with our Father during the tribulation. Remember, God's word is essentially about Adam and his family down through the ages, so we are only given specifics about them and not necessarily everyone else on earth. The four winds hurt the earth, trees, and sea. Let us now document the four winds are not loosened until the saints are sealed, an event that marks the initiation of the sounding of the seven trumpets. And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of earth, that the wind should not blow on earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. The book of Revelation is filled with symbology, and we will explain as we go. The four corners of the earth are naturally north, south, east, and west. That's Gabriel. Adonai, Uriel, and Ariel. We know from Revelation seventeen fifteen the waters which thou sawest are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. We also know that trees are symbolic for men as well, which we documented in our study. Adam, Eve, and the sin in the Garden of Eden. 
Now pay close attention. The wind should not want what? Blow on the earth, on the sea, or on the trees. This is important to remember, as it will mark a time sequence with respect to the sounding of the seven trumpets. Revelation 7-2 And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice, to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. <sighs> Here's the deal. It's very likely that the events in the cave when the doves were released those were the angels in my vision that were stuck in caves doves are symbolic of angels <sighs> I released them remember um, during the video of that particular ritual. They told me to stop what I was doing and go show the camera because before I left to go do that ritual, they told me to outline the mark in my left hand particularly meant something. And it was something that they told me about in the gematria. They told me that I had a pentacle in my left hand and I do. There are three of them, just like the flag in Washington, D.C. The flag of Washington, D.C. Three pentacles. One large one and two other smaller ones. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God in their hand. They had me walk up and show you guys on the camera what gave me the right to do what I was doing. I set them free. I'm just following the breadcrumbs, what they're telling me. And it all links back to things that they've shown me a long time ago, right down to the little tiny blue ET showing me a planet on fire and my daughter. We have now been given additional information. The four winds will not simply blow on the earth, sea, and trees. Their release causes a destructive result. I want to make it clear. We should not be looking for physical damage. This is spiritual in nature. This is a spiritual storm that will be released on earthly men. I don't necessarily know about that. I think there will be a bit of a spiritual storm beforehand, but what I was shown was a planet in utter devastation. Now, I recently had a vision while two people were here in my home that Fed felt very led to be here where I am. This vision, I was driving down a highway towards a city and I'm not sure exactly why I was going there but there was for some reason I was going to the city and I saw this little um, what are those little cars called those little two seater cars like a set of feet made by Fiat or um 
can't even remember what it's called now, and it, it's just like gone. Little tiny two-seater commuter cars they that they make with the itty bitty tires, itty bitty. <laughs> No, not the Mini Coopers. No, two-seater cars. They're even tinier than the Coopers. They're more tall, but really stubby. Little old short cars that are kind of tall, con considering how long they are. They're, I think they're as tall as they are long, or maybe even a little taller than they are long. Yeah. Uh, one of my kids' friends had one of them. Anyway, um, I see that crashed, crunched up on the side of the road off to the right. And I slowed down to go around it to avoid a collision with it. And to avoid others coming up behind me from colliding with me. And as I was driving, there was more and more cars and more and more craziness and all of a sudden I was I saw a big white um I'm trying to recall everything that was in that vision I wish I had recorded it or something there was a big white Ford diesel um kind of piled on top of a whole heap of other cars and stuff and it got to a point in the road where I couldn't go any further. And next thing I know, I'm in a helicopter being, I think it's a helicopter, being lifted off the ground. And as we're coming up, the copter's tilting to my side that I'm sitting on. I'm in the back. And the side that I'm sitting on, the door is open. I've got a death grip on a cell phone. And I'm looking down at utter devastation in every direction. That was recent. That, that was um, in January that I had that vision. Anyway, I'm not even sure where, where I was headed, but it was toward a city. I know that. So, so evidently, what I did in the cave released the angels of the four winds. But you noticed only two came out. That's because two of them are incarnate and two are not. At least that's what I'm assuming. But they were released. They're free. I set everybody free. And I also cleared all curses, which is interesting because that very tarot reader did a reading that involved curses. Um... This one, right? Is this it? No, this one. This one right here. Reading, reading and sound healing. This one, see? See the card he's holding up? It's curses. Yeah, curses. <sighs> anyway, um, there's a video that talks about the fifth angel... Not being an angel that has wings necessarily, but that holds the seal in their hand. Okay. Um, I need to find that. Give me a moment. I'm going to pause the video and find it. That way you guys don't have to watch me stumble around trying to find this crap. All right, I found it. This is um, Lion of Judah's channel. The four angels at the four corners of the earth is the video. 
I'm going to put a link in the description. It talks about the fifth angel that releases the others. I think you'll find it extremely enlightening and very profound. I did. Keep in mind, not everything is 100% accurate in here, but there's a lot to it. What's interesting is um, it's really bitter cold out right now. It's kind of, right now everything looks gray. <sighs> anyway, they wanted me to do this video by today's date this new moon in Aquarius. I told him I would. And it's 103. I've got um, just a few moments to wrap this up. So I know I haven't covered everything. That I'm certain. Um, But this covers, let me see if there's more I want to cover here. There's so much here to cover. It's just, I'm not even sure where to begin or end. But, um, this gentleman was doing a reading about his mother's um, passing. And my heart goes out to him. But he didn't totally understand what they were throwing at him. And it talks about the new moon and the fact that we need to know this by this point. It also talks, in his reading, he talks about a fiery climax right here in this part of the I'm reading. not fully sure, but I've got a funny feeling that my mother and my north and south nodes are exactly the same, but or let me back it up moon in its time behind i am feeling that sense of the white tunnel that exists that's so full of bliss and comfort and love but it is it's just behind this new moon it's just what's hidden it's the esoteric truth behind the veil of consciousness at the galactic center of the universe so it's it's trying to say don't fear death <laughs> don't also feel like you have to embrace death. Death will come at its, in its time, in its moment, but that you shouldn't fear returning to spirit. And you know, we're in a frequency at the moment where many people are losing loved ones. Um, so, we have the waning moon. So a waning moon is a moon that's giving up its energy. Um, and we are currently in a waning moon. The moon is waning before the new moon that comes on the 11th and 12th of February. I knew. And I also it. have full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches, but... Did you hear that? A fiery climax approaches.
I'm going to put a link to this video for you all as well to listen to that reading. He also, in this reading, they gave him the sails just like they gave me Um, you'll see it, it's in, um, it's about the air and why that sailing ship on the death card in the background stood out to me and it connected with his reading that has the same sail thing going on, talking about air. The angels of the four winds. I hope this is making sense to you all. Because major things are getting ready to happen. Really major. And um, they 911 me about it tonight. Get it done, get it done, you know. Pressuring me to get it done even though I was really reluctant. Because... When I first was listening to the Lion of Judah and his explanation of what was going on with that, I was in tears. I walked into the other room and looked at my girlfriend and I said, I don't understand it completely what it is that I've done, but evidently I've set, I set them free so that they could do what they're supposed to do. And I said, why didn't they tell me before I did that? I didn't understand what I was doing precisely. And it's interesting. She asked me the question. She said, would you have done it if you knew what they were going to do? I was like, um, probably not. And they know that. That's why they didn't tell me before I did it. <sighs> so now it's on my shoulders to tell you what they showed me. And what I did in that cave and what it really means. You know, it's funny because when I was doing that ritual, I was worried that I was getting some of it wrong and I didn't say enough. And I heard that there's no way I could have gotten it wrong. Somehow just being there and doing the release was all that was necessary. So, anywho, this is not a bad thing, even though it sounds very doom and gloom. This is a good thing, because it is the holodeck playing out its programming, just like clockwork. You remember Gabriel... And his sing-songy voice kept telling me, Tick-tock, time's up. Hmm. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything additional about this that I need to tell you. Besides the vision I had in January... And reminding you of the fact that the Nomos, the tiny blues, showed me a devastated planet on fire. And they showed my daughter the same thing. And um, I think they're kind of trying to warn us about something that's coming. <sighs> Unlike, you know... 
Noah was the only one given warning before the floods. And it's not that the uh, archangels are creating it. It's just they know it's going to happen. So they are trying to warn us prior to the event. Something to do with wind and fire. I can tell you that much. So air and fire. Um, how much of a warning do we have, you might ask? I'm not entirely certain. But there was a huge mistake the other day when I was showing the energy on this. I was set at 2022. What was I showing? It's in my last video that I did here on this channel or one of them recently where I was showing. Yeah, let me look here. Oh, let's open yet another page. You know how many pages I have running right now because of all the crazy stuff they're showing me? Yeah, there's more. <laughs> there's a lot more. And they're showing um, my husband stuff too. Really? Really? Man, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that beyond... Well, I just can't even put into words how much I hate that. <laughs> that happens, right? Yeah, wow. And they start playing whether you, whether you stop them or whatever. <sighs> Let's look at my videos. Oh, jeez. Was it this one? Now I can't remember the date, honey. Now I have to go back. I don't know what to do. Who's told you the dates? The dates right it was the year 2022. Yeah. But what was the date? I don't remember now. I had a real date. The date that was stuck on... Mm. Now I'm frustrated. I'm sorry. I'm frustrated because it's important. Because I think it was a clue as to the uh, when. Let me see if I go back far enough in this and find a 22. I might be able to tell you guys a date. A possible date. Because there was a faux pas on my video. I was showing the date. And I thought it was the current year, but it wasn't. It was set at 2022. Nothing's a mistake. Remember that. And no, it's not showing me. That's all the further back it goes. Oh my gosh. Now I'm really frustrated. Um, One of my most recent videos, it was a total faux pas. Let me look. What was that? Was it? This one? Oh, now I'm, yeah. <sighs> I really don't like this. I feel very ill prepared, but I really don't have any choice because I need to get this video out now. It's, um, Super important. Oh, that's what it was. 11 11 2022. 11 11 2022. Okay. Let me go back to that date right now for you guys. It was a total faux pas. Let me go back. A month. Let's go ahead one day. Two days. There's the 11th, November 11th, 2020. Now let's go ahead 
one year, two years. Look at that triangle right in the middle with several planets involved, including Black Moon Lilith, the Sun, Mercury, Venus. And then over here, you've got Jupiter and Neptune. A really perfect triangle happening here. There was something that really stood out to me. Oh yeah, here it is. Venus is at 24 degrees. Mars is at 24 degrees and so is the moon. Three 24s, three sides, okay? Then we also have three 12s, the north and south node and Chiron. Three 12s. 12s go in to 24 how many times? Two. The two pillars, the 11s. 22, 2022, you follow where I'm going with that? And then Neptune's at 22. I'm not positive, but this could be a date. The other thing um, that I wanted to show you all was Pluto, Pluto, okay, it's not what I wanted, where is it, where is Pluto, oh my gosh, where did it go? <sighs> Pluto in astrology is the god of the underworld and death. Hades means the unseen. Okay. Oh, I just want to throw my hands up in the air. I really do right now. Because what I want to show you is not here. <sighs> That's the Midgard Serpent. See the Feathered Serpent, Quetzalcoatl? And it's also called the Midgard Serpent. Where do I have this stuff? I swore I had it all. Nope. Oh, I'm frustrated. I'm really frustrated. Did I accidentally close that? I think I did. Okay, I'm going to pause again because I've got to show you this. Okay. They just want me to finish up the video to get this part out. I will find what I'm trying to point at, okay? <sighs> because that part doesn't matter as much as the part that I just showed you about 
the song Kashmir and the Four Winds and how that ties to what the ritual that was done in the cave, of setting the angels free that were in the cages and what that really meant. I released them, an angel carrying the seal of God in their hand. I set them free. But I said, oh, are you free too at the same time? <sighs> this is actually good news. Try to remember that. Because all the negative ones... It's the end. And this is a holodeck. The programming's running just as it should, regardless of their attempts to stop it. So, so that should be a huge relief to you all, because regardless of their attempts, they can't outdo the creator, the cornerstone, the creator. Anyway, I'm going to get this video up. More to come. I'll show you more on these dates. Um, like I said, the date that um, that video, remember, there's no mistakes. It was November 11th, 2022, when this perfect triangle, and there's more because, well... We'll get into that in another video about the whole pyramid thing, okay? Anyway, um, I did it. Another part of my mission is complete. Heads up, everybody. Like Gabriel said, tick-tock, time's up.